So we get a Walmart delivery. Everything is here. Get your diapers, JJ? Okay. Yeah, and toilet paper. So we're going to unload everything and let's see what we got. Our Walmart grocery haul today. This is a short one because we are going to Nashville. So we are not gonna have it as our usual stuff, but we'll we'll get to that part in a little bit. So we got some diapers. We got the she's still on size four, y'all. 116 for this one. Um, I don't know the price, unfortunately, but you know, this is our biggest expense when it comes to our grocery hauls. Is this little puppy right here. So then we got our toilet tissue, um, or toilet paper. We got uh 48 rolls here with this one. Gotta get the ultra strong for sure. It's good. Um, we got our multi-grain braid here. When you get the braid, make sure it's dark. That uh, means it's less processed. And if you look in the back, um, we only have two grams of fat here, um, 23 carbs, and five protein. So it only includes two sugars. So I would definitely get the multi-grain over the regular white bread. So we got our whipped cream cheese spread here. This is uh, amazing for the mornings on a little bit of toast. The only got, what do we got right here? We're working with 4.5 fat two carbs and one protein. So this on some toast or some on a bagel is really good. Um, Jalen loves this. We got our cottage cheese, large curd, 4% milk fat. So this is a great protein source. If you want to diversify your protein, it is, this has some fat, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, a half a cup is a good serving size. It gives you five um, carbs and 12 grams of protein. And then the ingredients are really simple and is what it takes to make cottage cheese um we tried the no fat and it's not the same <laughs> um we got some unsweetened applesauce packets for Jalen. she crushes these like it's no body's business and the ingredients on the back are just apples and acid so just to get the color in so this is just apples in the sauce pouch or a pouch <laughs> i can't i can't do that so we get them from the store um, so we got our bananas for the week. Um, we go through bananas really fast too. So this is perfect. We're leaving for Nashville on Friday, Saturday, Friday, Friday. So we'll, um, they'll be, they'll be gone by that point. Got some fresh zucchini for our little breakfast bowls or even for dinner. We got two of them and we got a uh, squash as well. So we have our little dicer and slicer. We just use these and throw it in with our dinner and breakfast, breakfast bowls with some eggs and some cheese. So we get our Fiesta blend. This is our favorite. It only has for half a fourth of a cup, eight grams of fat, one carb, and six protein. So this is uh, the eight ounce right here. We throw this in with our breakfast bowls. Um, some limes for our margaritas. I'm gonna have to post y'all the, I'm gonna show y'all the recipe I use for the margaritas because this, with the ingredients that I use, it's amazing. All right, we got some honey crisp apples here. We got what three, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Um, it shows you over here the tartness and the sweetness if you've never had them before. This is a little tart, but they're very crisp. That little that's what you get when you get to honey crisp. Just that. <laughs> All right, we got some um, Greek yogurt here. Um, light and fit. We got three strawberry cheesecakes and three toasted coconut uh, vanilla. Ooh, I'm excited. Only 80 calories and 12 protein. Look on the back, that is the key when you're looking for yogurt. It only has zero fat, nine carbs, and 12 grams of protein, and only two added sugars, which is really, really good. So if you're trying to find a good protein source, light and fit right here. This is really, really good. And plus the fact that it has low fat, that's what you need, or non-fat. <laughs> All right, we have our 18, two 18 counts of eggs here. Um, this will last us about a week and a half. We go through eggs really fast because it's also another great protein source. And as you can see, we're trying to keep, we're continuing keeping our seed oil consumption low. The only thing that really has some seed oils in it is probably the little bit of the bread. But at this point, that's pretty much it. So as I mentioned, we are going to Nashville. So we have some Nashville road snacks. Some Quest bars here, 21 grams of protein for one of these bars, only 190 calories, seven grams of fat, 22 carbs. So, and they don't have, if I'm not mistaken, no seed oils, palm kernel. Okay, palm kernel and sunflower is an oil, but the fact that's at the bottom means it's not used as much. 
in this to make these protein bars. So for a protein bar, the fact that it only has seven, I'm not gonna say seven, yeah, seven grams of fat is a really good thing. A lot of protein bars are high in fat, which is why I don't recommend them, but I do recommend Quest protein bars or the Alanya New protein bars. Velveeta is another good snack for the road that we're going to enjoy. It is eight grams of fat, 35 carbs, and four protein, added 10 added sugars. So again, we don't eat these every day, but if we're on the road, this is a good little, a little snack for us. And we're gonna eat it in moderation, so it'll probably last us a long time. Another good option for protein, if you're on the road and traveling, are these Power Crunch bars. We get the peanut butter fudge ones. Now, look at the fat here. This is 13 fat compared to the seven in Quest. 12 carbs and 13 protein. So, and the ingredients are pretty good, so this is why we recommend it as well. But this is just a good little chance to diversify our protein bars. I mean, I love, I love peanut butter, Kylie loves chocolate, so this is a good mix here. Um, got some Premier protein, 30 grams for just one of these. These are amazing. If you don't like protein shakes, this is a really good option. It only has, well, how many calories? 160 calories, three fats, four carbs, and 30 protein. This is really, really good flavor. You can even pour this in with your coffee, and it is just flavorful to the max. We get the Starbucks, the two shots of espresso with um, a tall, with a lot of ice, and just pour this inside of it. Perfect. Got a box of Original mashed potatoes from Idaho. This is really, really good because when we're dressed for time, we ain't got time to mash potatoes up by ourselves. But um, for the <laughs> for the half cup as prepared, we're looking at um, seven fat, um, three proteins, and 19 carbs. And so when it tells you how to make it, where are the instructions? There you go. It tells you to make it with butter, milk, and salt. So your fat comes from the butter and milk. So if you use a different type of butter or a different type of milk, um, you can change up your fat consumption for sure. Okay? So it is fall time. We got some pumpkin spice pancake mix. Look at this. Just add water. I'm so excited. Look at that packaging. Oh my gosh. It looks really good. I'm so excited to try this. Um, I mean, all you need is water. We're not even looking at the ingredients and everything else. It is what it is. It's fall time. Has the recipes for pumpkin spice pancakes and pumpkin spice waffles. Just look, uh, so excited, so excited. So we're gonna try this later on. We'll let you guys know how it is, for sure. Go to local Walmart, check it out. And then last but not least, pumpkin pie spice. It is that time of year, guys. Welcome. It is spooky time. So that is what we have for this week for our Walmart grocery haul. Make sure you download the David Bray Fit app. We are there to keep you consistent, help you lose weight in your weight loss journey. And we have three live classes in the community to help you out with that. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have not already. Have a good one. Deuces.